Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. What I wanted to do here was a bit of a preview around some predictive type analysis that I'll be running through in the uh, next Enterprise DNA Learning Summit. This is for May 2018. I'll leave a link below in the description if you still want to register for this event. It's coming up very, very soon. Now, we're going to have a full session on scenario analysis or predictive analysis uh, that you can do inside of Power BI. And it's seriously, seriously amazing what you can achieve. Uh, I mean, just to be able to do these sort of um, work, this sort of analysis into your reports now is just a matter of your imagination. Uh, there is just so many different ways that you can analyze things into the future and, and literally try and predict what might happen if something occurs. Now, I've tried to, I've showcased this a bit, uh, but I wanted to do something a little bit more unique here, add a little bit more uh, of a unique element to the analysis. So in the past, I've done sales um, and we've, we've, we've shocked uh, sales amounts and we've shocked pricing amounts and sometimes we've shocked costing amounts. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do something original. We're going to just increase the foot traffic. So if we look here, we're going to increase the foot traffic in our stores. So think about think about this for a second. So we've got uh, we've got a bunch of different stores that are all throughout the Florida region here. What I want to do is I want to run future scenarios on my prof on my profit forecasts. That if we increase the foot traffic into our store, so maybe we did some marketing or something like that, um, or, or or maybe our brand recognition was just becoming higher, and we wanted to see okay, well if we were able. If we were able to increase our customers, so in this case, if I if I wanted to increase my um, the amount of customers, so say by four percent, what is that going to do for average uh, for uh, for uh, our underlying profit in the future? And how we've worked it out, or how I've integrated it in, and what I will um, expand upon greatly during the learning summit session on this, is we need to somehow incorporate that into our sales data right so we need to somehow come up with a forecast of what we think our customer foot traffic will be we then need to shock that value or increase it or decrease it based on our scenario selection here and then from there still try and integrate that to finally come to our profit scenario here and basically what we need to do and what i do in this case is i go customer uh, I work out what the customer forecast is. I, I increase it or decrease it by whatever percentage change this is. And then we times that by the average sale by per customer, what we forecast that to be. And, I, and that in itself creates our sales part of the equation. So sales minus cost is gonna equal profits, right? So this is, this is equating to our sales part of that equation. And then we're also going to look at, and this is, this is where it gets seriously cool, we're also going to, on top of this, overlay changes to our costs as well. And so what we can, what we can do eventually uh, is we can say, let's, let's say we increase our foot traffic by 7%. We, we also find some cost savings somewhere. We decrease our costs per item that we're selling by 10%. Maybe we've gone back to our suppliers or uh, the commodity cost has decreased uh, and or the, the, the currency has changed or, or, or something like that. We've increased that. And then we can see here how over any time frame we perform. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill into quarter two of 2018. Well, let's actually, let's actually drill into quarter two and quarter three. And we'll see here that our profit forecast was, say, 21 million. And based on these scenarios, we predict, uh, it is predicted that we will increase our profit um, to 26.7 million. That's an increase of 5 million, and that's 24% increase in profit. And we can see here how that um, accumulates over time, and we can also see how uh, that sits in every single month. And what's really cool is that if you build this well, and that's, that's going to be one of the key things around um, the session, the full session, the full hour-long session on, on profit prediction or scenario analysis uh, at the next learning summit. You can integrate this into your model really, really well. So we've got, say for example, um, this is actually regional groups. So I'll just do a quick change here, regional groups. We've got South Florida and North Florida. So if I just jump back here, we have divided up our uh, sales by a couple of regions. Maybe they've got different management groups. Maybe uh, they, uh, uh, you know, for for geographic reasons, that's that's where the um, you know sales teams work across or something like that. We can also, in our predictions, filter by our model, 
And so say, for instance, we wanted to jump into South Florida. Well, then we could just focus on South Florida here and we could see, okay, well, this is, this is how things are going to work there. This is the change for South Florida, 24%, versus North Florida, which uh, is expected to, in this case, get exactly the same. But it could be different. It could be different depending on, on what the ultimate profit forecast is versus the profit scenarios. And what also I'm going to really go in depth is how you can create sensitivity analysis. So this is this is pretty pretty cool stuff, right? So instead of having to click through every different um, scenario option here, what we can do is we can actually create some scenario analysis tables, which give us the pro in this case I've set it up so that it's the profit differentials for all the different changes, and in this case we've got the percentage uh, percentage changes. Uh, for every single um, for every single change, so some pretty interesting stuff that uh, that we need to, we're going to go over, and I think that um, if you if you're able to register for the event, uh, there'll be uh, much more to learn. Um, you know, there's just unlimited unlimited ways that you can analyze uh, and and dive into your data um, around scenario analysis, predictive insights. It's, it's seriously just a matter of your imagination and I want to talk through and really go into during this session you know just how I think about it how how I think uh, how my best practice tips around how you think about this stuff how you implement it in your models because it, it, it can get a little bit confusing unless you you really have a good thought process around how you implement it and how you think about it because obviously in the future there's a number of different variables right and so you need to just increment incrementally build this stuff um, so that it, it, it makes total sense and and the um, uh, and the analysis and the and, and the output uh, actually actually makes sense and is actually realistic so really look forward to showcasing a lot more of this during the learning summit um, you also will actually be able to get hold of the resource if you register for the summit so certainly um, if you want to be able to drill into some of this stuff a, a little bit further you know the, the measures and the model etc um, then uh, then it's then it's well worth registering okay um, hopefully hopefully you can see the potential here that's the, that was I guess one of the main main things I wanted to uh, get across uh, and um, hopefully you can come to the summit it's going to be a great event okay speak to you soon